Welcome back my creepy Diablo 3 fiends out there from all across the world. I want to quickly check out some of the changes made to the brand new Demon Hunter Gears of Dreadland sets. So I'm going to quickly go through what I'm using, uh, some of the changes that I've made, and then we're going to get straight into a gameplay example. I'll go through this as quickly as possible. But looking at the set bonuses for, for two pieces, we now gain four seconds of momentum as opposed to two when attacking with a primary skill at a maximum duration of 20 seconds. So that's up from 10. Now, uh, so everything's been doubled there we gain four seconds instead of two and now a maximum duration of 20 instead of 10 your primary skills deal 10 percent increased damage per second of momentum so we get 10 additional uh seconds so theoretically we double our damage bonus as well there for four pieces strafing against enemies will automatically shoot your last used primary skill also gives 60 percent damage reduction while strafing for five seconds while strafing you gain eight percent increased movement speed for each second of momentum so now they specify an actual percentage of movement speed increased as opposed to in the past or originally it was just gain movement speed per stack of momentum and now our primary skills we can shoot while strafing it'll also proc our simplicity strength and it'll proc everything that it needs to proc as opposed to originally it wasn't procking we had to stop strafing in order to shoot our primary skill and that way we'd proc our simplicity simplicity's strength gem now we can proc everything we need to uh while still strafing which is why i've whacked in the taeguk gem but i'll get into that in a moment Six pieces has stayed the same. Your primary skills deal 10,000% increased damage. So we are using five pieces of this brand new Gears of Dreadlands. I'm using the helm, the chest, the boots, the shoulders, and the glove. So we have Ring of Royal Grandeur, obviously in Can Ice Cube, so we can whack in the Depth Diggers here. It gives us additional damage to primary skills. Definitely goes hand in hand with the primary skills damage build like this. Flavors of Time here in the amulet slot. Definitely Hunter's Wrath again goes hand in hand with primary skills. Attack speed and also dealing increased damage. Wraps of Clarity for braces, focus and restraint the rings. I'm using Fortress Ballista still to get that absorb shield, so for a bit of extra survivability. And of course, Dawn here in the offhand, so we can keep up Vengeance 100% of the time. And you do want to get at least like a 60% cooldown reduction here for your Dawn for, for Vengeance. 60% cooldown reduction for Vengeance. And obviously, <laughs> an Ancient or Primal Ancient Dawn is the way to go. The gems we are using, I'm using Diamond Gem here in my helm, as well as the chest and the pants here for damage reduction. It is still a pretty squishy build. It's a bit better now, but we definitely want to keep those elemental damage up as high as possible. For legendary gems, I've whacked in Taeguk because now we're going to be strafing the entire time. We're going to benefit from this big time. The only... We will be killing enemies a lot quicker but it's going to be a little bit more difficult and a bit of a longer fight against rift guardians because obviously no bane of the stricken here you can if you if, if you're happy with the damage output against regular enemies and and your elites and stuff you can keep in your bane of the stricken instead of taeguk and that way you get that 25 percent additional damage against rift guardians and you'll down them quicker however Let's just test out Taeguk, something a bit different. Banner the Trapped and also Simplicity's Strength, obviously now, which is going to be procced while we're strafing and using our primary skills. So that should definitely see a big difference as well to our damage output. Skills real quick. Hungering Arrow, arrow with Shatter Shot. So I'm using Lightning Damage for this example. So obviously for Flavor of Time and for your Braces, sorry, for your Amulet and Bracer, whatever you're using there, whatever you choose to use, try and get Lightning Skills up 20% damage there. Strafe with Drifting Shadow, again, Lightning and also Speed Increasing. Fan of Knives, Bladed Armor, just for a bit of survivability, damage reduction. Vengeance with Dark Heart, again, damage reduction. <gasps> Smoke Screen with Displacement for Speed Increasing and Damage Avoidance and getting out of those really sticky situations and Preparation Invigoration to generate our Discipline here in case you're using Smoke Screen a lot, which you will be, to avoid damage and that way when we run out of Discipline because you're using Smoke Screen, just activate Preparation, you'll get that discipline back 
Passives, Ambush, Thrill of the Hunt, Color of the Wake, Perfectionist, and just really quickly, before I forget, we'll go through Can Ice Cube, the all-important Can Ice Cube here. Can you see it from my big head? I think you can. The ninth series satchel, very, very important. Hungering Arrow is guaranteed to pierce and also de deals 600% increased damage. Massive damage increase there, multiplier. We definitely want to use that for a Hungering Arrow build such as this. Mantle of Channeling, of course, now that we're strafing, 100% of the time we're going to be doing more damage and reducing damage taken and like I mentioned Ring of Royal Grandeur because we've only got five pieces of the Gears of Dreadlands equipped and this will allow us to get the full six piece bonus as you can see they're all highlighted, highlighted there which means they are active let's jump into a GR and see how this baby works now with some of the changes let's do it so I've waxed it up to 95 here Pretty sure 100 plus won't be an issue now, but for the sake of uh, reducing time on this video, we're just going to do a 95. I don't want everyone to be uh, getting bored with a really lengthy Greater Rift run, so we've just put up to 95. Definitely capable of 100 plus, as you can see there. Downing Elites, a lot easier now. I did try a quick run with Banner the Stricken, and I find that killing mobs and Elites is... Definitely a lot better with Taeguk. But it just depends on your personal playstyle and what you prefer. Some people might prefer just for that extra damage for the Rift Guardians. But when it comes to elites and just regular regular mobs, Taeguk all the way, baby. We also get some damage reduction as well. So we add to survivability also. And obviously as we strafe, we get to keep it up. 100% of the time, baby. Unless, of course, we stop strafing. Stop, stop strafing, I'm trying to say. I just wonder now how long until they make some changes to the Necromancer set. It is very underpowered. And even now, like, this is first test since the changes for the Demon Hunter. Uh, I'm not too sure if it needs any more right now. I, I need to... I want to test out the Bolas version of this as well, so obviously you can try whatever primary skill you prefer. I think Hungering Arrow, and with that Satchel, Satchel, with the Quiver, I think it is called the Satchel, 9th Series Satchel, so it is called the Satchel, I was right there the first time, kind of, but um, I think like with that um, damage multiplier, 600% increased damage for Hungering Arrow. Oh, now I've kind of run out of hatred there, so you want to definitely make sure that you're using your primary skill. So right now I'm going to start spamming it a bit harder, and as you can see, I'm generating more and more hatred. Just be careful, because if you go through extended periods of time in a rift or, or whatever you may be doing, while you're in strafe, you're draining your hatred. So you want to try and get to enemies as quickly as possible. And you definitely want to be using your primary skills as much as possible. Spam the hell out of it. But as you can see, I, I generated my uh, hatred pretty quickly there, back to almost full. I guess if you really wanted to, if it's a long stretch between enemy packs, you can stop strafing, and then you'll, you'll get your momentum and also your Taeguk stacks back pretty quickly. But I wouldn't recommend it. Try and just keep, uh, keep close to enemies as possible. Keep as close to enemies as possible. So we've got two packs here. And we're flying through right now, this is 95, so as you can imagine, 100 plus should be pretty comfortable as well. I'll, I'll, I might do some further videos if y'all want to see 100 plus rifts and see how far we can push this. But yeah, look, it, it doesn't look like it's going to be super duper powerful at the moment, like a, like a Demon Hunter meta build, like the top, top tier build for GR pushing, but I don't know, like I can't, I don't want to like sound sure about anything it is uh, it's improved big time you can tell straight away like momentum stacks are up there they don't drop under 20 19 sometimes if enemies are around it's just constant 20 and this is the first primary skill build that i'm trying so there's still a lot more to try bolas is going to be interesting as well bolas sorry bolas bolas let's call it bolas otherwise it sounds like i'm saying two naughty words together. I'm sorry, I apologize. Bolus. Let's just say Bolus. Big Bolus. 
Alright, so Conduit Pylon now, that'll definitely help with the Rift Garden who's going to pop real soon. So with Flavor of Time it's going to last longer as well. The so Tagook's up, 10 stacks, Momentum's up, 20 stacks. Man Carver, nearly dead. The only problem is your fingers go numb. You know, you have to hold down strafe and then really spam the hell out of uh, Hungering Arrow or whatever your primary skill that you're using. <laughs> but it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. That is the new and improved Gears of Dreadlands Demon Hunter. Definitely big improvement. This is the first test that I have completed. So I will be doing some further testing and testing out other primary skills. So this was the Hungering Arrow version. Probably could be the best one. I don't know yet. Can't comment too much. But it's definitely a big improvement on the, the new set for the Demon Hunter out there. So let me know what you all think about the changes down in the comments below. Or if you just want to say hello, you definitely can. I've got nothing against. Thumbs up and comments. I will respond to as many comments as I humanly can. Until the next video, stay safe out there. Stay heavy metal. And stay creepy. Most importantly...